Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Yesterday I posted one post on YouTube regarding the arcade and arcade festival program. If you have any question regarding that, you can just ask me. So in this video, I'm going to cover top 10 questions regarding the arcade and arcade festival program. If you are also curious about how to track your arcade points, changes in the arcade or anything related to the program, you are in the right place. Let's start the video. So the first question that you guys ask that how can you check how many points that you have accumulated so far. So this is a very easy you can just search arcade price calculator on Google and then you will get a link. Just click on that link otherwise I will share the link in description box. There you have to just submit your public profile URL and after that you will know how many points that you have earned. Now you know from where you can just calculate your points. The second question that you guys ask that reveal about the goodies. So as you know, it's not more than a month that this program is started. So it's early to say something about the swags. Yes, there are the chances that the swags might be different from the previous price counter, but you will know about this more from the September month. After September month, team start revealing the swags and they will let you know how many points that you required for claiming those swags. Now let's jump to the third question. So the third question that you guys ask that if you haven't completed the badge in July month, can I still participate in arcade games? Yes. So there is a two program which is going on first one is arcade facility program and second one is arcade game which is going to start from the next monday that is 5th of august so as for now arcade facility program enrollment has been closed so you cannot take a part in the arcade facility program the main advantage of arcade facility program is that you will get a bonus point after completing your skill badges and that is the only one advantage to be a part of facility program if you are not aware about the arcade or arcade facility program no need to worry about that you can continue your arcade journey from this month also because arcade games will going to end on december month so now you have enough point to earn the points and claim the swag that you want so now what you have to do so in every month there will be the arcade games you have to complete those arcade games and once you're done with that along with those arcade games, you have to complete the skill badges if you have the question that why we need to complete the skill badges so all these points i already covered in my previous video you can just simply watch that and now if you are wondering from where you complete the skill badges so i will share one google sheet link in description box from there you can just simply complete those so now i hope your doubt is clear now and i am hoping that you will start your arcade journey now let's jump to the question number four so the question number four that you guys ask me that will the arcade game similar to the skill badges or is there any kind of difference yes there are the few differences in the arcade games as compared to the skill badges. In skill badges, we have to minimum complete the four laps and once we complete those four laps, we can earn the skill badges. Okay, but in arcade games, we have to complete at least 14 to 15 laps and after completing those laps and then we can earn the badge for that particular game. Along with that, there are few more things that you need to take care. In arcade games, they have the fixed amount of slots. So you have to make sure that you book your slots once the arcade game started and they have one duration. Within that duration, you have to complete your all your games. But don't worry, once the game will live, I will keep you updated on my telegram channel. So if you haven't joined yet, please consider to join and after the game will live i will make a detailed explanation video how you have to proceed with the arcade game so you don't have to worry about those things now let's jump to the question number five so the question number five that you guys asked me that when will be the milestone reveal and what is the highest milestone so as i said earlier this phase is just recently started and it's too early to say anything about that so i request to just simply wait for at least september month after that the team will start revealing about the swags and they will also reveal about how many points that you are required for reaching the milestone so just simply wait and you will know everything about it now let's jump to the question number six so the question number six that you guys ask that can i change my public profile url or any other information that you need to change for your facilitator program so at that moment you have to reach out to your facilitator because they are the right point of contact to making all these changes and they are the only one who can help you with this now let's jump to the question number seven so the question number seven that you guys ask me that i have completed 28 skill badges and i am eligible for milestone three is it necessary to complete the 42 skill badges to claim the milestone three swags no you don't have to complete the 42 skill badges if you are looking for the milestone three but you have to complete the arcade games and the trivia 
टू बी एलिजिबल फॉर द बोनस पॉइंट ऑफ माइल स्टोन थ्री सो आई होप दिस विल आंसर यूर क्वेश्चन ना लेट जम टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर एट दैट यू गाइज आज दैट कैन आई अर्न आर्केट पॉइंट बाई कम्प्लीट इन स्किल बैचेस येस यू कैन अर्न द आर्केट पॉइंट फ्रॉम द स्किल बैचेस इवन इफ द आर्केट फैसल प्रोग्राम एंड बट आफ्टर दैट यू कैन स्टिल कंटिन्यू डूइंग यूर स्किल बैचेस एंड यू विल गेट अ पॉइंट द मेन एडवांटेज ऑफ डूइंग द स्किल बैचेस ड्यूरिंग द आर्केट फैसल प्रोग्राम इज दैट यू विल गेट अ बोनस पॉइंट अलॉन्ग विथ यूर स्किल बैचेस एंड दैट्स वाई वी आर रिक्वेस्टिंग यू टू ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट एज मेनी एज स्किल बैचेस ड्यूरिंग दिस फेज सो नाउ आई होप दिस डाउट ऑल्सो क्लियर नाउ लेट जम टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन द क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन दैट यू गाइज आज दैट कैन वी कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन द स्किल बैचेस मेन्शन इन द गूगल शेयर एंड आर देर एनी चेंजेस इन द आर्केट दिस टाइम येस देर आर द फ्यू चेंजेस दैट हैपन इन द आर्केट इन लास्ट फ्यू डेज द फर्स्ट चेंज दैट हैपन दैट नाउ यू कैन ओनली डू द टेन लैब्स इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर ड्यूरेशन द सेकंड चेंज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट द फैसल प्रोग्राम हैज एक्सटेंडेड टिल ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ सेप्टेंबर एंड येस यू कैन स्टिल कंटिन्यू कंप्लीटिंग योर स्किल बैचेस विच आई मैंशन ऑन माई गूगल शीट सो आई होप दिस डाउट ऑल्सो क्लियर Now let's jump to the last question of this video. So the tenth question that you guys asked that can a person claim more than one milestone reward? Yes, you can do that. You have to make sure that you must have two to three accounts, and all those accounts must have enough point to claim your swag. So here I cover ten most question asked regarding the arcade and arcade facilitator program. There are the two bonus question that you guys also asked that. So the first question regarding the point count. So there is a people who still confused regarding the arcade facilitator points and arcade games points. so let me just be clear this confusion also once the arcade facilitator program end the point that you have until that will carry forward till december month and in december month the total point that you have earned from your arcade facilitator program and the arcade games and will be counted as your final points and with those point you can claim your swags in december month so don't be get confused that once the arcade facilitator program end then we can claim your swags no you have to wait for the december month and then the prize counter will be open in last week of the december month and then you can claim your swags and the second question that you guys have regarding the facilitator program people have the question that how can we know that how many skill badges that we have done till date your facilitator will send the report email in that email you will know how many points that you have earned how many skill badge that you have done till date so if you are wondering about that how can you know about how many skill badges you have done so don't worry about that you will get the mail from your facilitator you can ask your facilitator and they will tell you the exact date regarding that so i am hoping that now your doubts are clear now you know from where you need to calculate your points now you know when you can expect the revealing of the swags if you have any question apart from this do let me in the comment section and that's it for this video thanks for watching and have a good day guys